This is Professor Stephen Neshaba, and I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the kinds of fun things that we can do in Schrodinger Club. Uh, I'm in a software called Spartan, and uh, this happens to be a couple of pairs of uh, uh, parts of a DNA molecule, and you've all perhaps heard uh, about how sticky DNA is. And here's one thing that we can do. We can move this DNA closer to the other one until we see, oh, look at that. Those are some what we call hydrogen bonds that form between them. And uh, so that's one thing that we can do. Uh, another thing that we can do is we can, we can talk about, you know, atmospheric gases like carbon dioxide. And there are calculations that we can pretty easily do that say, actually, this CO2 molecule doesn't really look like that so much as it looks like that. And it's got some sort of a deficit of charge here and an excess of negative charge over there, which makes um, which makes uh, it helpful for the CO2 to absorb infrared light, which of course it is a greenhouse gas. And these are other things that we can do. We can say, for example, this is one way that uh, our carbon dioxide molecule might um, might vibrate. But the one that's really important for the greenhouse effect is this one right here, uh, which is the bend. And then finally, we can talk about things like clusters of water. And we can say, well, I know that water likes to stick to other water molecules. How does, th how does that happen? Well, that's the sort of thing uh, that we can, we can do and try to learn about water clusters.